my device is already connected to the deeper Wi-Fi through my deeper connect device. In order to access to this operating system, you will need to go to this IP address as I'm typing in here. And for first time logins, you need uh, to use admin as the username and also all lowercase admin as the password. Now I'm logged in. So as you can see here, the main landing page gives you a dashboard, which tells you how many connections that your device is currently connected to. So as you can see here, I have a couple in North America, a couple in Europe, and a couple in in Southeast Asia and it also gives you your device status so it tells you the memory and the CPU usage and it also gives you some notifications for uh, the activities that this device has been doing in the back end and it also gives you the real-time traffic uh, statistics and also some other system info for example how long your system has been running and uh, the total uploads and the downloads for the entire duration of the connection and on the left section you will have uh, different sections for different functionalities the first section be the device section that gives you the system information and the traffic information and some activity logs so the serial number is very useful if you have any issues with the system when you're trying to contact the customer service. Once you provide them the serial number, and it'll help them to faster uh, troubleshoot for you. And it also gives you the software information, your network address, and some other infos with regards to upgrades. Most of my upgrades has been done automatically. And I believe uh, moving forward, the deeper team will push the different versions of uh, updates automatically to the device itself so you don't really have to worry about manually updating and in the traffic section you'll be able to see the usage for different apps that you're using and in the log section it'll gives you uh, the activity logs on the control plane and data plane and management plane which will record all layers of transactions for this device in the dpn session which is Deeper's signature smart route functionality. So as you're accessing different URLs for different IP domains, um, the DPN will smart route you to the fastest IP available. So I'm currently enabled uh, the DPN smart route here, which means if I'm accessing content from Europe, the device will pick the fastest available IP uh, node in Europe for me. And if uh, and at the same time I'm accessing content in Asia, the device will also pick the fastest uh, available IP for the Asia route. So here's something pretty cool. Uh, in the tunnel section, you'll be able to see how many nodes that you're connected uh, through the deeper device. And I'll be able to switch nodes if I want to manually push uh, certain connections. In the routing section, you can uh, have the capability to manually set up your tunnels, whitelist or blacklist certain domains through preferred tunnel. So in any case, if you want to manually configure a uh, connection, you can do it here. And the next section is the security, which I find the most robust uh, for my personal experience. So in this section, I'll be able to see how many ads this device has been blocking and how many uh, bad queries or uh, trackers that this device has been protecting me from, which is like super awesome. And in the web filter configuration section under security, uh, you'll also be able to manually configure the domains that you want to whitelist or blacklist. So if you want to do any like parent control, here's where you can whitelist and blacklist the domains per your preference. And last but not least is the administration section. In this section, you will be able to change the password uh, and set up your own profile. So remember when we first log in, we used admin admin combo. Uh, in here, you will be able to set your own password to make it more secure for you. And the last function is the reboot function. So instead of like going to the device and reboot it when you need, you can just like go into this operating system and click on it and it'll reboot the device for you. So I hope this video gives you an overview of how the operating system looks and also gave you some information on how to navigate the uh, main features and functionalities that this device provides you.